10 Most Expensive Knives in the World. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Crafty Lux. Here are 10 most expensive knives in the world. Number 10. Yoshihiro Mizuyaki Honyaki, $5,000. This knife is one that stands out on our list as being one of the cheapest in the high quality department. It's made by masters from Sakai and features a pattern called Hamon. The etches in the blade are made to mimic Mount Fuji's natural beauty, even including a full moon. The knife was painted in the style of Fuki Urushi, a technique that has been used for over centuries in Japan. The handle is made from lacquered Mongolia wood with a golden buffalo horn holster with golden inlines. It also comes with a shaya, a wooden sheath that protects the knife's functionality and appearance. In the bottom two here. Number 9. Lancet Uroboros Knife, $5.5,000. This is a knife that will certainly leave a lasting impression. Its handle comes with copper and 24 karat gold inlays. The blade is made up of impressive Damascus steel and features a convenient one hand button lock that you can press with your thumb for very easy operation. To help save this beautiful appearance, it comes with a leather sheath that pairs along with the knife's quality perfectly. Its 2.5 inch blade may not seem like much of a selling point, but we doubt you will have a tough time cutting anything with this attention grabbing knife. If nothing else, it's beautiful to look at. Number 8. Nenohi Honyaki Dentoku Geishi Sakimura Takobiki, $6.9,000. Calling this a knife may not be hitting the mark. Every bit of detail on this knife makes up its value and the man behind it. Yoshikazu is a world renowned master at his craft. Its blade is a staggering 15.4 inches, making it more like a machete or a sword. It's made with Shirogami No. 1, and the blade allows its user better control over its cuts. Its sheath is hand-painted using another old Japanese technique called Wajima lacquer. This makes its cover last longer by strengthening it. Its decorations, the Japanese cherry blossom, only adds to the amount of beauty the knife possesses. Number 7. Black Panther Knife with an Ebony Carved Handle, $8.1,000. This knife has a very attention-grabbing name and it can thank Marvel's Black Panther for that. No, you won't get superhuman powers by using this knife. Think it would be so cheap if you could. However, it will certainly give you your money's worth from how it's made. The blade is forged from Damascus steel and the walnut handle comes with a carved image of a Black Panther. It comes with multiple gemstones, and the blade's silver color is more than eye-catching. Its cover comes with similar features, with a panther head and two wings adorning the side of it. Number 6. Gentak Makata Knife, $12.5,000. This knife comes with a beautiful 24 karat golden inlay by Joanne Rial, which is unbelievably hand-engraved. It's another Mike Norris Damascus steel to add in the price and quality factor. It offers extremely rigorous performance for day-to-day -day use, even though you may feel more inclined to display this beauty in a glass box on your mantle. The knife is more than comfortable to use, and it'll catch anyone's eye that sees you using it. Its blade is 3.25 inches long, and it's presented in an elegant box that is just as immaculately beautiful as the knife itself. Number 5. Monarch Steampunk Dragon Knife, $18.5,000. If you haven't guessed it by now, William Henry makes some really good knives. That's why he's on this list three separate times. It's another blade that comes from Mike Norris and its sharpness is just as noticeable as the steampunk designs that adorn the blade. Silver, copper, and gold inlays flow across the handle in an immaculate fashion, displaying a mechanical dragon breathing fire. You'll see spinal gems that serve no purpose other than to dazzle you and those that see you use it. Want to take this around town with you? You can! It comes with a leather sheath that you can also hook up to your belt. Number 4. Spearpoint Lace Knife, $25,000. If you bought some of the knives that you read about on this list before finishing it, you may want to stop now. William Henry shows off another knife in his artistic style that really no one else can imitate. This is a knife that takes hundreds of hours to make, and that can be seen with its Damascus steel blade and golden inlays. 
They come with signatures from Henry himself, and the secure blade means the functionality is something that doesn't have to suffer. Like all of his knives, this one comes in a handcrafted wooden box, but you can carry this one around with you too on your belt if that's why you bought it. Really fantastic. Now the other thing you might have noticed already is what's going on with the blade there. Number 3. Nesmuk Diamond Studded Knife Set, $44,000. We're branching out of Henry territory here, and we're getting great designs from Nesmuk, a company owned by jewelry designers Quintel Nell and Hoffman Pieper. Its aesthetic is modeled after older knives, and it is forged from carbon steel to extend its lifespan. The knife features over 480 layers of the steel that were tempered and folded to make sure the sharpness satisfies anyone that buys it. It has a sterling silver handle, and it comes in a really cool piano box. In each box, a diamond ring. This should tell you why it costs as much as it does, and make you feel safe about the quality if you're planning on buying it. This one also comes with um, the, yeah, the little... Number 2. Nesmark Jahrhundermesser, $99,000. This knife is a serious display on German craftsmanship, and it's the second most expensive knife in the world. It features 640 layers of Damascus steel, which is complemented by a carbon steel edge. A fan of bog oak? This handle is crafted with wood that is oftentimes 5,000 years old, and it's decorated with 25 individual diamonds to make it really glimmer in the light. The platinum is particularly responsible for its steep price, and when you order this knife, like any other Nesmuk one, you'll find it shipped to you in a very fancy piano box. Number 1. The Gem of the Orient, $2.5 million. Let's be honest here, you might not ever get the chance to purchase one of these, but I'll tell you enough about it to where you wish you could. It is hands down the most expensive knife in the world, and it's made in Nevada, USA. The handle is crafted from quartz and is paired with ruby red enamel. It comes with 153 dazzling emeralds and 9 diamonds to show off just how much money it took to have it. It takes 10 years to make these, so don't think that even if you do have the money that you can nab one fast, especially since its master crafter passed away in 2005. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.